So now looking at the volume of a sphere, if you check the formula, this resembles two other formulas. We can see that 4 there coming from the surface area, so 4 pi r, and that is cubed. And we can see a third there, so that is coming from the formula of cones of all pyramids, which is said they start with one third pi r squared times the h. But that's not a different height this time round because it is radius all round when it comes to a sphere. And we'll have a look at what that means. So in other words, this is saying that that would be four circles like these ones that would be filled with pyramids. So we'll actually see what that means in reality. So I will draw around the big orange net. So I've done that now and I'll try and cut these into small pyramids and place them on top. So I filled the full circles with orange pyramids. Obviously it can't be perfect, it can be really exact because it's just fruit, but I hope it gives you a general idea of what we mean. It, help, it helps you remember what the formula is. So I've put the orange pyramids within the circles, within the four circles, just like we did with the skin at the top. So it's rather messy, not perfectly exact because we're dealing with fruit, but I hope it gives you the idea. So if we had a sphere with a radius of three centimeters, for example, what would we do? So we'd write four thirds times 3.142, which is pi, times the radius being three cubed, because we're dealing with volume as well. So we can do this with a calculator or by hand. Um, I'll just do it quickly with a calculator. So 4 divided by 3, then times 3.142 times 3 cubed is 27. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So that gives us 113.112 centimetres cubed.